Hello! This is your tutorial spider, Captain Teo. Ferality Somner is just around the corner, so it's time to start getting our avatars ready for the convention. If you are a beginner with avatar editing or you just need a refresher, here is a tutorial where we are going to be learning how to attach the many avatar assets that come with your Ferality registration. Everyone who registers will have access to the Ferality Somner shader and some themed assets including a convention badge, while first class and sponsor tiers will have a whole host of themed accessories. For Ferality Somna, our Pixel, Cyber and Fin tier supporters will also gain access to some additional accessories and some very special friends for their avatars. To begin, we recommend starting off with a fresh Unity project, or at the minimum creating a backup of your current avatar project, making sure to use VRChat's currently supported Unity version, which is Unity 2022.3. 0.22 f1 at the time of this recording. You can install Unity and create your project easily using the VRChat Creator Companion or VCC. You can find and download VCC at vrchat.com slash home slash download. Remember, you must have a trust rank of new user or higher in VRChat to be able to upload custom avatars. Once your project is created and your avatar of choice set up in the project, it's time to download and import the Ferality assets. You can download them in two ways. The recommended way, and the way that I'll focus on, is through Ferality Asset Manager, which will automatically download and set up your assets from within Unity. Here is the step-by-step -step process. Step 1. Log in to Ferality.online Step 2. On your profile page, you'll find links to the assets download page. Step 3. Scroll down to Assets and Badges and click on the button labelled Ferality Asset Manager to download the Unity package. Step 4. Save this file to wherever you'd like. In this case, I'm saving it to my Documents folder. Step 5. With the Unity project open, double-click the Ferality Asset Manager package. Then, on the window that opens, click on Import. Step 6. Once this is finished, a new Ferality menu will appear within the toolbar. Step 7. Click on the Ferality button, then select Show Ferality Asset Manager to open the Asset Manager. Step 8. The first time this window opens, a web browser window will also open, prompting you to log in. Click on the Login button. Note that you may need to enter your 2FA if that has been set up on your Ferality account. Step 9. You will be brought to a page asking you to connect Ferality Asset Manager to your account. Click on Allow Access to connect it. Step 10. If done correctly, you will see a success message and can safely close the browser. Step 11. Navigate to the Assets tab in the Ferality Asset Manager, choose the tier of assets that you would like to download, then click the button labelled Download. This will automatically import the selected assets and the Ferality Somna shader, which is used to display these assets correctly in VRChat. The download may take a few minutes, depending on your download speed. Note, if you ever need to re-download the assets for any reason, the download button will show as a reinstall button. Clicking on this will overwrite the downloaded asset file so that you can start over. Be aware of this if you have edited the asset files themselves in any way. You are also able to manually import these assets into Unity by navigating to your profile on the Fox portal and clicking on the Manage Linked Accounts button where you will find all of your available assets to download directly. If you need any extra help, YouTube is a fantastic resource for finding tutorials on Unity, VRChat, and Ferality. Applying the Ferality Somna Shader Once your assets are downloaded, you now have access to the Ferality Somna Shader, which I would recommend applying to your avatar to give it that special dreamy sparkle for Ferality Somna. If you're not using any Ferality Somna asset packs, you will also have access to the Ferality Somna Shader through Ferality Asset Manager by clicking on the Assets tab then the Shaders tab, and clicking on Download under Somna Shader. To apply the shader to your avatar, Step 1. Locate your avatar's material, most likely in a folder called Materials. In my case, it's in a folder called Mat Text. Step 2. Click on that material and press Ctrl and D on your keyboard to create a copy of it, then rename that copy so that you know which one is which. Step 3. While this copy is selected, locate the inspector, which is on the right side of the Unity window by default. At the top of this is a drop-down labelled Shader. Click on this, then Ferality, then Somna Shader to convert this material to a Ferality Somna Shader material. Step 4. Make sure that the texture in this material is still there. 
This should be done automatically by Unity. If it isn't for any reason, simply click on the main tab in the inspector with the shader selected, then drag your texture image from the project browser into the main text slot. Step 5. Now in the project browser, click and drag the new material onto your avatar to place it onto your avatar. You will most likely see the lighting on your avatar change if you've done this correctly. Step 6. Some avatars use multiple materials, so repeat this process for any other materials on the avatar. For example, my eyes use a separate material, so I'll create a new copy of my eye material, change that to a Ferality Somnus Shader material, and drag that onto my eyes. Step 7. From here, you can customize the shader however you'd like. Take a look at the Special Effects tab for some new special visual effects for Ferality Somna. Set up your audio link emissions for Club Fin under the Emissions tab, and make sure to choose your favorite color in the main tab for a special surprise in the Ferality Somna worlds. Attaching assets to your avatar. Now that your assets are downloaded and imported, find the assets in the project browser by clicking Ferality, Ferality Somna, Avatar Assets, and the asset tier which you downloaded. In this folder, you will find different prefabs that you can use to add to and accessorize your avatar. Let's try one by dragging it into your scene's hierarchy. To demonstrate, I'm going to use this scarf. In the scene view, you will be able to scale, rotate, and position the asset to where you want it to be on your avatar. Some prefabs also come with an armature that will help you adjust their shapes to your avatar. This scarf, for example, has some adjustment bones, so if you expand it in the hierarchy, you will first find its armature, then the main bone, then the adjustment bones. These adjustment bones are what you'll need to adjust in order to change the shape of your asset to fit onto your avatar. Feel free to move, rotate, and scale them in any way you want to get a good fit for your avatar. Here you can see me adjust the front, sides, and back of the scarf to fit much more perfectly onto my avatar. You can add as many of these assets as you like to your avatar, and you can be as creative as you want with them. I'd like to add a few more things to mine, so I'm going to add this garment to the avatar and make it into a belt. I'll take this bracelet and shape it to one of my arms, and I'll take this lamp and I'll attach it to the belt that I just made. Once your assets are positioned where you want them to be, expand your avatar's armature in the hierarchy, which is on the left side of the screen by default, and drag each asset that you just placed onto the closest bone on your avatar so that it becomes a child object of that bone, which means that it will stay in the correct place while your avatar moves. For example, this scarf is closest to my chest, so I'll drag it onto my chest bone. This belt sits on my hip, so I'll drag it onto my hip bone. This bracelet is on my lower arm, so I'll drag it onto the elbow bone. And I want this lamp to stay attached to the belt, so I'll also attach it to my hip bone. Ferality Convention Badges For the Ferality Somna Convention Badges, the process is the same as with the rest of the assets. Note that it is not necessary to attach a badge to your avatar to be allowed to attend Ferality Somna, but it will make you look more prepared for a convention. After downloading your badge through Ferality Asset Manager in the same way that you downloaded your assets, you can follow these steps to attach it to your avatar. Step 1. Add the badge to your hierarchy from the Assets folder. Step 2. Rotate and adjust it as you see fit. Step 3. Attach it to a bone of your choosing to keep it in place as your avatar moves. Note, I personally like to attach it to my chest bone to make it look more like a regular convention badge, but feel free to get creative with where you place your badge. The Ferality badges come with an extra tool to help you customize them called Badge Maker. This tool is provided when you download any of the Ferality convention badges. To access the tool, Step 1. Download your badge, then find the toolbar at the top of the window. Step 2. Select Ferality, then Show Badge Maker. A new window will open. Step 3. Type in your preferred name, pronouns, or title. Make sure that you have the correct tier of badge selected in the menu, 
and leave the Auto Apply box checked if you want your new texture to be automatically applied to your badge. This will be all that you need to get started. If you need any extra help, YouTube is a fantastic resource for finding tutorials on Unity, VRChat and Ferality. You're always welcome to ask questions about our Ferality Asset Manager and General Avatar help within our help channels on our Ferality Discord server. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to see how you prepare for your journey into dreams at Ferality Somna. You fell asleep. That's a really good shot, thank you.